Yo, what it is, man? Fuck a little more quick, H77, sending love, that impulsivity to everyone who's watching this video. And today's video topic is the truth ruffles feathers. So, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I got more content coming in 2021. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Now, look, this video is very important. So, the truth ruffles feathers, okay? It's something about the truth that literally gets under people's skin in this reality or society, all right? So, look, check me out. As a chosen individual or a TI, targeted individual, um, you are targeted by the masses, okay? You are targeted by the government. You are targeted by the CIA, the shadow government. You are targeted by the world powers, okay? You are targeted by um, certain secret societies, okay? They know who you are. They know that you came back. And they know what you stand for. So listen, in this life as a chosen individual, um, you become a target or a threat to this system when you are speaking the truth in a world full of lies, okay? Let me repeat that. When you are a chosen individual, you become a targeted individual when you are speaking the truth in a world full of lies. Now listen, the truth bothers people, okay? Because listen, when you live in a society where people have been programmed and horrendously lied to for eons, decades of their life, and then you got an individual like me who's speaking the damn truth, it bothers people, okay? You mess with these people's everyday goings, okay? When people watch my content, um, they grow hatred, okay? Because they know that what I'm saying is the truth. Now, no matter what you say, you could be delusional, you could act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Listen, you know the truth when you hear it, all right? So, bruh, a lot of people hate me just for the simple fact that I speak the truth, you feel me? I speak the truth, I stand for the truth, and I walk in truth, you get what I'm saying? So I am the truth, I am the embodiment of the truth, okay? I am the Christ, you get what I'm saying? So look, man, the truth ruffles people's feathers, okay? And one thing I'ma say, when you are a individual who stands for truth, you speak, seek, and you want true knowledge of the truth, and you're able to change once you understand and come fully into the truth, um, that will put a target on your back because a lot of people cannot accept and change once they hear the truth, okay? Because on this journey of becoming your higher self or becoming your greatest version, that's what this is all about. It's about self-evaluation. It's about um, becoming our greatest version, okay? It's about accepting ourself. It's about growing, healing, all types of great and beautiful things, okay? And in this life, a lot of people don't have the, my bad, a lot of people don't have the strength or courage to change, okay? So when they see an individual who's actually speaking the truth, and when they see an individual like me actually, one moment. Anyways, my bad, I say anyways, had to make a quick edit right there, as you guys could tell. I know you heard like a little motorcycle shit, but this is the Matrix, the noise campaigns is real. So like I was saying, when you are an individual who stands for truth, you walk in your truth and you speak and seek the truth, and you're able to change once you know the truth, it puts a target on your back because many people in this life cannot accept and change once they know the truth. Facts. A lot of people in this life don't change. So when they see you living a different type of lifestyle, they become envious, they become jealous, they harbor hatred and malice, all because you speak the damn truth in a world full of lies, okay? So the journey is not for everybody, okay? Many are called, few are chosen, okay? A lot of people cannot do what me and you do. A lot of people are not willing to face the persecutions on this journey, okay? This shit is realer than real, okay? But listen, they are targeting the Most High's children, okay? This is what this shit is about. The Most High, um, his children are speaking the truth and spreading the truth across the four corners of this planet. And during these times, you're gonna have people coming against you, plotting against you, um, persecuting you, being hateful, having hatred, jealousy, envy, all types of wicked things because the person that you are and the person that you are representing in this truth, there is a light that is shining on everyone who is not living according to our ancestors, okay? When you are chosen and you stand for truth and you speak truth, 
you hold the torch in this reality, okay? It takes a strong person to actually stand for truth. I'm talking about the real truth, not no bullshit ass, fake ass, biblical truth. You get what I'm saying? I'm talking about the real truth about life, your ancestors, your people, etc. It takes a strong person. It takes a leader to actually do that. So when you're an individual who's actually standing for something that's real, me, this shit I'm doing, I'm standing up for y'all. My people, my melanated people, and my conscious people, I'm doing this shit for y'all, man. I was sent here and put here to do this, you feel me? I am one of the most angelic, my bad, let me say it over. I am the most important person in this reality, okay? If not, I am one of the most important persons. Let me humble myself. You get what I'm saying? I am very important, okay? I came here to help awaken and uplift the frequency and vibration and consciousness of humanity okay it's a select few of us who actually came here everybody is not like me and you okay some of us are very important and we are here during these times okay real shit okay the government knows this this is why they target certain individuals okay this is why they targeted me and you because of who we are okay they don't care about the physical they are trying to figure out who you are on a spiritual level because everything is spiritual we're going back to a spiritual reality fuck this physical so the government understands this so once they figure my bad once they figure out who you are on a spiritual level um that's when they begin to target you you know what i'm saying so this shit is real so the truth ruffles feathers okay when you are somebody who speaks the truth in a world full of lies you can expect people to hate you automatically you don't even got to do nothing to them because the truth ruffles feathers, man. I'm telling you, when you have been indoctrinated and programmed your whole entire life, and then you hear an individual who speaks the truth and has not necessarily lived a lot of life, you get what I'm saying? It bothers people because listen, me and you, some of you guys are very young, some of you guys are kind of older, but it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna use me as an example so I'm young right but I have divine and cosmic intelligence okay my bad intelligence okay I have knowledge beyond my years you feel me and knowledge is knowledge is infinite so for a young man to have this knowledge at the age that I'm at it's like wow the things that I know bruh most people don't learn the knowledge until like way later in life some people don't even learn this knowledge that i know so it makes people have some type of ill feelings and help my bad ill feelings and hatred and jealousy man when you are very smart in this life and you are not programmed you're actually smart you feel me bro people grow envious and jealous of the chosen ones because we are intelligent you know why you're intelligent and you want to know why you have certain knowledge at a certain age it's because you are a star seed you are not from here Okay, knowledge is in your DNA, which is why you were able to grasp and understand certain things that other people couldn't. Okay, this shit is real. Everybody is not like me and you. You feel me? It's the reason why a certain amount of people who are chosen, we are empathetic. Okay, this society has created narcissists. Okay, so it's not too many empathetic people. The empathetic people in this reality, which would be me and you, we are the leaders, man. Do you know how powerful an empath really is? An empath is very powerful. Empathetic souls, we are very powerful, okay? Because we are angels and demons inside of one. We can be very empathetic, but once we're pushed to that limit, we turn into demons. Narcissistic people, they are straight up demons, okay? They seek order, chaos, destruction. Hatred, envy, jealousy, malice, okay? They are low vibrational beings. But if you are like me, you are both, okay? It's just that your empathy is your greatest superpower. However, it is also a weakness in a way, all right? Life as an empath. If you know what it means or how it feels to be an empath, you know what I'm talking about. You are very powerful. Like, I'm going to make a video about your um, superpowers as an empath. You get what I'm saying? So like I was saying, the truth ruffles feathers, okay? If you are somebody who stands for truth, who speaks and seeks truth, expect people to target you, hate you, have hatred or ill feelings towards you, okay? Expect that because you are speaking the truth. A lot of people is not willing to risk their life 
for something that's real. Okay, a lot of people are afraid to stand up for their people. You feel me? This shit that I'm doing, bruh, this is big, bruh. I'm not talking no bullshit to y'all. I talk about real shit. Okay? The shit that I'm talking about, cub, people get killed for that. People have gotten killed for speaking the knowledge that I am speaking. So believe it or not, um, <clears throat> let me repeat that. Believe it or not, every day when I drop these videos for y'all, I risk my life. Okay, the more that I speak the truth, the more of a target that gets put on my back. And that's okay. I'm ready to die about this shit. You feel me? I'm ready to die about my people. I'm ready to die about the truth on God. You feel me? <laughs> I'm telling you. So you feel me? The truth will ruffle feathers, all right? Real shit. So anyways, this video wasn't too long. Let me see how long I've been recording. 10 minutes, a little light. So like I said, this video wasn't too long. Make sure you guys um, stay tuned for more content. And I love you. And Thug Lamarco, I'm out, gang.